Oh, hi. You want to see something cool? You don't want to see something cool? What I want to show you. All right. Come here. <laughs> Seriously, you have to see this. Come here. Just. Just stop. You're gonna. You're gonna like it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Now come on. All right, listen. If you watch this entire video, you're free to go and watch whatever else you want. Just come see this with me. It's real nice. Thank you for sitting down with me. I want to show you something. It's right here. My friend, this is the newest circular saw to hit the market. Not only that, it's the newest rear handle circular saw to hit the market. I'm going to tell you what. We're going to use and abuse. We're going to slice and dice. We're going to see how this thing can hold up. But what is this sweet, sweet rear handle circular saw, you ask? Well, that's a new skill. Power Core 20. Yes, skill has come out with a brand new rear handle circular saw. And I'll tell you what, you're going to be amazed by this damn thing. So why don't we just get right into the slicing and the dicing, the using and abusing, and see what this thing can do. Then we're gonna talk about all the specs, the price, and a really cool feature on this that you're not gonna find on a lot of other saws. So this is the skill two by 20 volt power core 20 XP. It's the brushless seven and a quarter rear handle circular saw. Now you're gonna get two bat rays with this. You're gonna get the charger and the saw and the best part about it is, well, I'll tell you about that here a little bit later in the video, but let's take a look at this thing. Now you're gonna need two batteries to run this saw, two 20 volt batteries, which actually turns this thing into a 40 volt tool. Yeah, so it's not like one battery drains and then the next, both batteries. You got your wrench right there, everything you need underneath to take that blade off. You got the lanyard hook right there. And I'll tell you what, this part, this is the best part of the entire saw. I can't wait to show you that. But let's get into that slicing and the dicing. Now we got the world's most famous treated six by six with no pilot holes. And yes, this thing cost me $75,000. We're gonna slice and dice it up. Hey, that's what we gotta do. That's what we gotta do. So on this test here, it's really gonna test the battery life, see if this thing's powerful enough to cut down through it. If it can do it through this, it can do it through anything. But check out the coolness of that freaking dust extractor right there. It is in the handle, and the only other saw that does that is the skill saw. Oh, I'm hitting some, I don't know what the staples in there. Check that out. That, my friend, is real nice like, but we're gonna make multiple cuts. Now, I am going to give you different angles for your viewing pleasure, but check out how that guard rides right over top of that wood, and it's been flawless since I've been running it. I love that dust extractor, and you can adjust that to face up, down, away from you. You hook up, I don't know, a vacuum, and, and it's just fantastic. But listen, no bogging down on that blade, and this is the blade that came with it. Listen, I'm not going to talk for this one. I'm going to let you hear the sweet, sweet saw. Here we go. You want another view, you say? Okay, here you go. So we got four longer cuts all the way down through and now we're gonna just go straight across That guard really does a good job just going right over top of that wood. Doesn't get snagged, doesn't get held up. Now we got five cross cuts. Let's do a couple more. I wanna, I wanna run this battery, man. And we'll man. Check out how that dust just gets thrown out the side too. So I got one, two, so seven all together. Maybe eight, nine. Let's speed this up a little bit. Ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. That's a lot of dust right there. <coughs> that was stupid. Really stupid. All right, so we got a bunch of cross cuts, 10 all together, I believe. We got five of the rips all the way down through that treated six by six with no pilot holes that cost me $75,000. And you can see that on the side over there. I'll tell you what, 
I'm curious. The battery. What? We got three bat ray bars on each one of these bat rays. Now let's do a couple more cuts. This is regular pine. No, it is not old pine. Just a little bit faded on the outside because of that sunage. But we're going to cut down through here. You can see it looks pretty much brand new on the inside. I'll tell you what, really, really good job on the dust collection. Super smooth on the saw. Tons of power with those two bat rays. Now, I may cut after cut after cut after cut. I sped this one up a little bit, but cut after cut after cut after cut. I really wanted to put this bat ray or these bat rays and the saw to the test. Now, I even did plunge cuts in a tree to six by six with no pilot holes that cost me $95,000. And I had absolutely no issue. I wait, absolutely no issue running those plunge cuts. Look how powerful this thing is and just how it shoots that dust up. I was really thinking that this saw was gonna clog up with all that dust and it did not. And here's one more for your viewing pleasure. You can see that I already have three done. That's the fourth. Now again, let me point this out to you. The guard on this, the way it's designed, it really allows us to really move up over that wood and it doesn't get stuck. I, I love it. I think they did a really, really good job and everything's just really built well. But how many bat ray bars? Three still on each bat ray. And I'll tell you what, that is really impressive that I still have three bars. Now, this right here, let's talk about some of the specs. This right here is your pin, basically. It stops automatically at a 45 degree, and if you wanted to cut up to 53 degrees, well, you just push that button in, and then you allow it to swing out to 53 degrees, as you can see, well, right there. And let's make that sweet, sweet 45 degree cuttage on that woodage and the pineage that cost me $25,000. Look at that, how smooth is that? That, my friends, real nice lag. And I'll tell you what else is real nice lag. It's that LED light up in the front helps illuminate that area, but I'm telling you, look at the slicing and dicing this thing is doing, and I still only use three bars on that bat race. All right, so you've seen this thing being used and abused, it was slicing and dicing. Let me talk about something that's very important here. The price, the price, you're looking around 240 to 250. That comes with two batteries and the dual charger. For a seven and a quarter inch rear handle style saw, that is amazing. The other thing I wanna let you know is that I use the regular blade in here that it come with. I didn't put on a DA blow blade. I just wanted to see what it would do out of the box and it did phenomenal. The battery life on this thing was really, really surprising to me. So all around the comfort, I love this freaking, you know, this port right here that you can hook a vacuum up to. It shoots the dust out the side, just does a fantastic job. It keeps that dust out of your face. But let's get to one of the things that some people might say about the blade being on the left. Now I'm right-handed, but I actually prefer my blades on the left. That's just how I am. Some people like it that way, some people, for some reason want to look over their saw i like that line of sight so yeah the left-handed i like that now the only two downsides that i have is number one the notches up on the shoe here they're not the easiest to see there's no coloring other than the numbers right here but you know they're just notches they blend in a little bit and as far as it goes with the adjustments they're not hard to make in any sense of the word but the bevel it's a little bit stiffer than i like other than that this saw my friends Real nice lag. And let me say one other thing about rear handle. I use a rear handle saw more than any other circular saw. And the reason why I like the rear handles are they are a little bit heavier. This one here weighs, so they help you when controlling the cut. It keeps it a lot flatter and it keeps it a lot smoother. And in my opinion, when you're making that cut, when you're ripping something, it's just easier to see that cut. In my opinion, they're just a lot smoother of a cut than your sidewinder saws. I like that weight. All together, the build quality is really, really good for this price range. Really happy with it. Again, you got that LED light right here. Yes, they did a very, very good job on this saw. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What did you think of the PowerCore 20 rear handle skill saw? I love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. And also, if you like this sweet, sweet video, I got one for you right here. I guarantee you'll like that as well. We'll be back with more videos soon.